But first tonight, we're remembering little Winter Cole Smith. It was one year ago today that the two year old's body was found in a Detroit alley after she was taken from her Lansing home. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Mike Duffy. The statewide search to find Winter triggered an Amber Alert and broke hearts nationwide. Tonight, loved ones remembering her with a vigil. 7 News Detroit's Brett Cast was there and he brings us the voice of the grandfather who will never forget the bright, beautiful baby girl who was stolen from him. Brett. Well, a horrible discovery was made in this very alley on Detroit's east side, and now a year later, the family of Winter Cole Smith is reclaiming it as a place that they can honor Winter's memory for years to come. It's, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie, it's hard. Coming back to this spot on this day is far from easy, but for the family of two-year-old Winter Cole Smith, it's important. Sometimes I do feel her presence, but, um, I know she's she's here. She's still here with, with, with us. It was exactly one year ago on July 5th that Winter's body was found in this alley. She was kidnapped in Lansing by her mother's ex-boyfriend, who later admitting to killing her. After a multi-day search effort that spanned the state, the investigation that involved the FBI led to this alley. We all loved her. Even ones who haven't never got the chance to meet her, I could tell that she's in that she had reached your hearts. In the 365 days since, Winter's grandfather, Elmont Smith Sr., has made this alley a memorial, planting flowers and putting up this pink fence, today adorned with balloons. I have a lot of memories from her when I first seen her. First thing she did, I'll, I'll always miss it. She grabbed my beard, always grabbed my beard. While sharing memories on this day, her family says they'll honor her every day. It will never be easy, but will always be important. My little angel, always will be. Love you. Love you, Winter. And today, before the balloon release, Winter's family passed out these purple ribbons, and they say they hope to do more in the future to honor her memory. In the east side of Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 News, Detroit. Brett, thank you for that report. And just this week, the man charged in Winter's killing pleaded guilty to state-level first-degree murder and first-degree criminal sexual conduct. He had previously pleaded guilty to federal charges. Rashad Trice is the ex-boyfriend of Winter's mother. Investigators say that he sexually assaulted Winter's mother before kidnapping and killing her little girl. Trice faces life in prison without parole. He's set to be sentenced in federal court on July 19th and state court in August. 7 News Detroit will bring you the latest from each of those hearings on air and at WXYZ.com.